these new photos that we have of the Link artifact. Where did you get this artifact? Well, at the time that I was at the site, and when I went to roll up the creature, I realized that about three feet away from its body, kind of buried a little bit under some ferns, was this shiny-looking object. And I reached down and picked it up, almost like a pop can, silver in color, about the same size. And as soon as I got within about two or three inches of it, I realized it wasn't a pop can. And I picked it up, you know, I, probably a, a real stupid thing to do, not knowing what it was. I was not thinking clearly. And I picked it up and I looked at it and I thought, okay. So I just threw it right inside the... Uh, thermal blanket, wrapped it up, and took it home. So we previously didn't mention this, was because I don't have that object. I had sent this away. This was something that I had literally nailed away to myself somewhere else. I needed to get it looked at and get it verified, of course. which I have done. I, I had it analyzed at a university in Osaka, Japan. Yes. And some of the people that helped me do this are the people that I call the Alliance. People that helped store me away and keep me safe for a long time. All um, right. So it went to Japan. All right. So you went to Japan with the object. And I showed it to some very secure people in Japan. Uh, so what did they conclude? They looked at it and they found that it weighs one 0.7.3 grams. That's 3.75 ounces. The materials that it's made out of are really unique. It's a radical mixture of a silicon polymer, beryllium aluminum, which is a unique substance in itself, manganese, magnesium, zinc, copper, bismuth, gold, and other undetermined material. The, the photographs never before seen on my website tonight are extremely clear. Those were taken in Japan. In Japan? Yes, while it was being analyzed. All right. I, I held this thing myself at one time, Art. You did? Yes, and it's amazing. All right, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's impossible to describe. You've got to see it. It's got what appear to be hieroglyphics on it. Uh, has anybody analyzed uh, what th that could possibly mean? It looks very much like um, some objects purported to be from the Roswell crash. It's never been cataloged, any of those symbols, and uh, it has been looked at through many eyes, trying to understand if they have any earthly meanings. Nobody, as of yet, has come up with anything other than and this is kind of fascinating. There happens to be one of the symbols, which is the very small one, and I'm not sure if the picture you have shows that. There are actually four symbols. Yes, so I one, have them. I have one them. small one that sits alone by itself is a very similar shape to the obelisk craft. That symbol has been found in Mexico, in Egypt, and in China. That symbol is very similar to the Ra symbol in the Egyptian hieroglyphs. We do know one thing. When that symbol, which is a button, this thing is a controller of sorts. Of some kind, yes. When that symbol is pressed in the right sequence, that piece of material, that structure that looks silver and is hard like metal, I mean like iron. Yes. It closes. It becomes very, very pliable. Wow. It closes with a memory as if it's going to close onto a surface of like your arm. And then you push that again and it opens back up with the same memory so that you could remove it. So then uh, speculation would be this was something the alien had been wearing. Yes. Why do you not any longer have this? What happened to it? Well, I was told that as long as I had this in my possession, I was in very, very serious danger. And they were right. So I gave it up. I said, store it. You know, analyze it, store it, and do whatever we have to to keep it safe.